Deep within the American Southwest exists an immortal water hoarding overlord that uses toxicity as a survival strategy. And when I say immortal, I mean it. One of these species is estimated to be 11,700 years old. That species is that right there. The creosote bush. The creosote bush loves life in the desert more than a lizard loves his sunlight. Blum. So when you see one creosote, you're probably gonna see a lot of creosote. The first discovered reason for this is an adaptation called allelopathy. Early studies suggest that creosote leaves and roots release secondary compounds into the soil, which may suppress the growth and germination of other plants. But the more likely reason is because if obtaining water in the desert was like the game Monopoly, these guys here would have boardwalk, park place, they'd be the banker, and also they'd stop everybody from passing go. I don't know, I don't play Monopoly. What I'm trying to say is that they have a dual root system, which allows them to suck up water and hoard it before any other plants can access it. And creosote bushes will gang up on other plants, creating hydraulic territories, places where no other plants can really establish themselves because creosotes are here just sloshing up all the water. Kind of like a creosoasis. And it's kind of rude, especially because creosote can survive on as little as three inches of water per year. But it's okay because their root systems create little shelters for tiny burrowing animals. Kind of like a creosotel. If you like this video, drop me a follow. Happy stepping!